You probably clicked on this video because you're in the gym like me. You're considering living in a van, but you don't quite know if you can really keep that same gym lifestyle that you had now. Well, you're in luck, boys. I've been living and traveling in this van for about a month now. Just wait till the end and I'll show you a little bit of the secrets that I included in here to make my whole gym lifestyle and traveling lifestyle the perfect integration of everything. So as of right now, I'm in San Diego. This place is absolutely crazy. Check it out, we're posted right here. It's called Mission Beach. So Mission Beach is just right over the corner, way out over there. You can go down there, you can surf, do all this stuff. But right now I'm parked just in a little uh, bay area where there's a bunch of kayakers, a bunch of bikers, guys who run. This is where I actually trained for my Ironman. So it's really like somewhere where I like to be. I got the van opened up right now. I don't know if you can see, you got the doors in the back peek around there I'll show you a little bit in a second but let's take a look inside in the front I'll show you just from the start of the front and then we'll move to the back all right so I closed up the windows as you can see first thing just because I wanted to get the lighting a little bit better for you guys so you could actually see everything that's inside because it's a great day outside I'm definitely gonna be surfing a little bit later already hit the gym you already know but what I wanted to start off was in the front here obviously you can see we have this uh, passenger side chair pivots right passenger side chair moves around swivels right now it's basically in my kickback mode so I sit right here kind of like this is my main spot where I hang out got my drinks whatever do all my work on here um, but I use this table it's called a lagoon pivot mount so it has one of these things where I can move it around any way in any orientation that I want so however it needs to be so uh, if I want to work I can do anything here I have this table that pops up also so obviously you can see it's in the up mode. Uh, press these two buttons. Boom, that thing pivots down. So I don't have space there, but like I said, if I wanna work, pop it back up. Okay, next I'll show you what's above that seat. So in these Ram Pro Masters, they have this compartment up top that basically holds all my junk. Everything from, uh, I have my uh, baseball glove here, I have my roller, all my sports equipment stuff. I basically throw up here, I have some snowboarding, goggles, different stuff that involves sports, just miscellaneous junk. I throw up here. And then on this side, I don't know if you can tell, but um, this is just my computer, my laptop. Uh, I usually throw a little camera equipment up here. And then I have uh, a few cushions that I'll show you later that will come in in the video. Uh, basically works with this couch, so stay tuned for that also. Now we make it over to the driver's side. So basically the driver's side is about the same. It has that same swivel mount chair. Right now it's in obviously hanging out mode. Um, but once again, this pivot mount is awesome because as a driver, I can have two people. One people sitting here and one people sitting in the passenger side seat. And you can talk, eat dinner, whatever you want to do. This would be kind of hangout. Then the third person could be sitting here on this couch, which we have. And once again, with this lagoon pivot mount, how about your food, whatever you need, you can orientate it in a way where it would actually sit here for this person in this couch too. So it's really like a, this a table is really awesome. It's something so cool. It's all adjustable. It's three different pivots. So um, it's something that I've been working on to try to get it fixed up to where it fits everything that I need. And this couch, I have leather, fake pleather seats. So it's something where I can clean it off, it gets dirty. I come in after serving them all wet and sandy. I don't want to mess up real leather. So I have this nice pleather and it looks great, looks fantastic. Goes with the whole theme of the van. Kind of staying a little bit more towards the front uh, with this couch area and that kind of stuff. He's right above me. I have this fantastic fan. If you're into van life, then you probably have heard about them or seen them, but this thing is absolutely amazing. It's temperature regulated, so last night, uh, I like keeping my van a little cool, so I kept it around 60 degrees, and I can set that um, temperature, put it right on the remote control. It basically just keeps it at 60 degrees. It pulls in air from the outside, uh, keeps it right. Okay, now we have this side. So obviously, this is above the couch. This is the upper cabinet. And basically, what I wanted to hear was make sure maximize cabinet space. So we have this cabinet, this cabinet, refrigerator. And I wanted the couch still here so I can make that into what it needed to be. But in this upper cabinet, I have a full, basically, all this room for all my supplements. So obviously, being a gym goer, need your supplements. I have all mine. Right now, I'm using Amp Subs. You can look the link in the description and go get Amp Subs. It's actually a phenomenal brand. I love them, partnered with them. So I have a bunch of their stuff right now. I have my camera equipment where I work with um, shooting this video. 
all that stuff is basically stored in here. So this is my main drawer that I use. Like I said, supplements, protein, camera equipment. This is kind of my content creating space that I use that's right above uh, the couch right here. Now coming towards sort of the middle of the van, kind of the kitchenette area. Basically what I have is I want to maximize my cabinet space. So I already told you about cabinets up here, but now on this side, basically this is all my kitchen stuff. So right here I have um, just a simple pantry, obviously zero cal or zero sugar uh, barbecue sauce. We have the zero sugar um, grape jelly, any kind of that. You know what I'm using this for, all right? You already know the syrup. If you don't, go follow me on Instagram and then you'll know. But I have all of my pantry stuff up here. Obviously the pink salt, ooh, pink Himalayan, dude. If you don't know that, go follow my Instagram and TikTok and you will get some tips for sure. So um, have all that kind of stuff all up here in this pantry, this top cabinet, um, this bottom cabinet. And this is more of just kind of supplies, kitchen stuff. Got my scale, obviously you need a food scale when you're bodybuilding, trying to maximize those calories, everything that you need. Um, just other kind of kitchen stuff. So that's the up cabinets. Now we'll go a little bit lower. Um, down here I have my stove, uh, basically with this. It's a three burner stove, um, but I didn't want the stove on top because I wanted like a smooth cabinet space, which is what I got, which is absolutely amazing. Um, so with this, basically what you do is there's little notches underneath here little latches and you unlatch these little deals and you can pop this up and actually fully remove it and basically I have my stove and cooktop um, for like uh, eggs in the morning um, bacon anything that I'm cooking uh, I basically do up here don't have a microwave in this van so this thing's the perfect deal where it's propane uh, stove on top and propane oven down below I have that down there so you can um, cook chicken breast anything like that will go down in the bottom obviously my spice rack on the actual stove because every van lifer needs a spice rack um, one of these magnetic ones saves all the space that you can when you're in a van um, but this pop-up is so nice uh, in the morning I love it and like I said it maximizes space so now this full countertop is so amazing for prepping food anything that I need to do um, it just comes comes in clutch with this uh, this on top, so. Okay, now to this side of the van, uh, still keeping it kind of in the kitchen area, but obviously you're gonna need a refrigerator. So this right here is a Dometic fridge. Um, it's DC charged, so I don't have to worry about any AC inversions or anything like that, which if you're not in a van, then just disregard everything that I said there. But if you are, um, like I said, DC, so it doesn't take much power at all, and it actually holds a ton of stuff. So I'll show you a little bit of what's inside and that, but right above that, um, basically I have my cabinet pantry space again, because when you're a bodybuilder, you gotta eat a lot of food. So uh, I got Special K here. I have the cereal is actually amazing. Keto cereal, macros on are insane. Uh, your oats, your beef jerky, everything a typical bodybuilder would have, I got. It's all in here. This van is like amazing for um, going to the gym, and if you wanna do it, I highly recommend going into it. Uh, it's something that's just changed my life and it's absolutely um, the best thing that I've done so far. So, got all that. Uh, my sucrose, if you're into low calorie sweeteners, that's the one. Uh, and then obviously my blender and a little bit of fun stuff in the back. Obviously you're gonna need a latch when you open up the fridge. But what we got there is what I said, bodybuilding typical, your low fat Greek yogurt, obviously a must. You got your liquid egg whites, Got like a ton of those things. They're absolutely amazing to get the calories. Um, just to have a little fun, why not? Uh, otherwise, you have your Diet Dr. Peppers, apple sitting there, low calorie butter. Uh, this little freezer on top, which is actually really nice. I can get a little um, ice, frozen berries, and then my food. I eat trifecta right now because it's the best thing to do, in my opinion, just for on the go kind of stuff. And then down below, I have all my eggs, um, and it's basically all I eat right now. Okay, now when you move past the stove, past the fridge, you get a little towards the back, now we get to where the fun kind of begins. So, uh, I have this removable cutting board, basically for uh, the sink. Now you have a full, deep, long sink where you can wash our dishes here. Um, I have a nice, tractable um, little faucet that actually is really amazing. It has three different switches that you can turn on water you have that one that I 
just pull it out like I said you pull it out you can go outside you can even like I said do use it outside um, score it off then you also have this one right here that moves around you can control water that way or you have this third one um, which is a, actually an RO faucet so the RO water uh, runs through right here and you can use that one also fill up water bottles um, whatever if you're about to go on a run I usually fill that up um, make sure to get good clean water so I have to use this um, and it's a real three different filters in the bottom um, right there then obviously whatever van lover needs is a nice banana hammock um, made sure to include it in there and then right here's a really cool thing that I found to separate all my actual utensils um, got my fork knife spoon and then all my other knives right here and uh, no I have not been nervous about the knives falling off and coming out of this magnets like incredibly strong um, so that has been something to organize it and kind of add a little spice to everything um, got my cleaning stuff in the back and then uh, my speaker in case I want to listen to music. Oh, and I forgot on this faucet also, if you didn't want water coming out of here, you turn that right there, boom, doesn't come on. So it's, like I said, a really cool faucet. I actually love it. It's a lot better than any house faucet I've ever seen. So that's something cool that uh, we can utilize in this thing. Following the sink right below that, we have uh, basically my um, cleaning supplies, everything like that. I have my trash can that's attached to the door, so it makes it real easy kind of hide everything away if you were in a van I would highly recommend this trash can I'll throw a link in the description maybe potentially I have basically a whole list of Amazon stuff um, that you can go buy there that has a bunch of this all included so uh, I just have normal um, cleaning stuff duct tape um, trash bags ziploc bags all that is kind of just thrown down here um, just kind of get away uh, instead of all my food and stuff that's more of cleaning and just tidiness around the van okay next coming on the other side of the sink area and the whole kitchenette right next to the refrigerator is where I got my shower so this is probably what I get the most questions about in this van it's like does your van have a shower or a toilet yes I wanted to make sure to include that just because if I'm ever in a situation where I need to use this I want it handy and ready to go right now Honestly, it's just been used as a storage space because I shower when I go to the gym right after. I'm not opposed to doing that and uh, just using those bathrooms is a lot better than having to move all this stuff around and get it. But if I need to, this is actually a great option um, for me in the future maybe. I have a 30 gallon water tank to hold all this water so I have more than um, plenty of water to use. Uh, okay, moving past the shower and more towards the back of the van have where the real action takes place. Where I get all the gains that I really need is back here in the back. This is my bed, I sleep back here, and it's actually been so comfortable. Right above my bed, I have basically what's called a Fres Air. This is an AC unit, so in the summertime when it gets hot, uh, I'll use that Fres Air, and um, it'll be really cool area right above my head. Uh, I got a bookshelf on that side, a couple windows on the side, Obviously overlooking the fantastic view uh, and then on this side have the same thing with a window covering right now just because I have my bed up but as you can see which I'm going to kind of block out right now because I want to talk to it in a second but I have the real spectacular part of the van coming up before you I show you the big fantastic surprise um, what I want to show was a few other cabinets this is basically down to the below my bed um, with a bunch of my garage area. I have access to it inside just in case I want to get there. I have a light that I can use uh, right up here on the side. Click that on. Obviously right now it's all dirty and stuff just because I'm parked out here. But can use that. And then on this left hand side I have a cabinet that I will show you at the end of the video. Right above that I have uh, my sleep basically bedside drawer that I use. Um, up above that is my uh, closet area. So I use that right there. And then right here is once again, cabinet that I will show at the end of the video. So stay tuned. So if you made it this far, it's probably because you want to see the crazy thing uh, incorporated in this build out that uh, I'm going to tell you at the very end, but 
before I do that, I'm gonna show you the last little part of this bad boy. That's the garage area. So right now, I have a bunch of junk in there and I don't really feel like moving it all out because I uh, haven't really organized it quite yet. I've only been living in this thing for a month now. So I'm still trying to figure out where I need to put everything. But uh, I'll show you a little bit, basically what I have. Obviously, hanging rack for uh, my wetsuit. I can throw that. Then down here, um, basically I have my bike, um, I have my uh, electric skateboard that I can ride around anywhere that I want to go, uh, and then just a bunch of other junk, another skateboard. Um, I have a charger right here. On this side is where I hold all my batteries. Right here is my fusion box where all my fuses are. Um, so if anything bad happens regarding the actual build out uh, battery wise, check that. Like I said, my battery's back here. Light switch, click on lights down low. Um, right over here is, like I said, lithium. I have six lithium ion batteries in here. So I have a ton of actual charging room. Uh, then on this side, I have my water. So I told you I have that 30 gallon water tank um, right here. And basically what you can do is you can open it up, hook up a hose to this so you can shower off in the back, which is actually um, something that I've been using a lot when I go surfing and come out, rinse off my wetsuit, rinse off my board, and it helps so much. 30 gallon water tank is amazing. Um, then I have a little few compartment areas that I can open up right here and back there towards the back. And then in the very back, like I said, is um, that area to actually access the garage area from the actual van. So uh, on the top, obviously my bed, I have cabinets up there on the top. Um, that's just holding my clothes and stuff. I didn't think that was really interesting or need to put in there. Just extra cabinet space for uh, all the stuff that I need. Then to top off the van, I have two 300 watt solar panels that go right up, basically up there. I have that fantastic fan and then on the back, the Frez Air. But the real cool thing is that on that whole area, I have a deck. So I have a ladder um, towards the back where I can use, throw up on the top and if I want to hang out, overlook everything, get on kind of an elevated surface, that deck is the perfect thing for it. Now, what most of you have been waiting for and what took a lot of time and effort was putting this in, my gaming PC setup. So this thing is so awesome, it's something I needed to include in this professional build because I'm 21 years old, I have a bunch of friends who play video games, and I wanted to make sure to keep that in my life, something that I can do. So I used this beast of a PC to edit my videos, uh, play video games, any kind of stuff that involves like some hardcore computing, I have my big desktop computer to actually do that. Obviously, I use my laptop on other occasions, but having this wireless keyboard, wireless mouse, I can do it in the passenger seat. I have this uh, chair that I have stored right here in the shower. Pop right out. This um, basically where my keyboard and mouse is sitting pulls out from under the bed at a little table. Um, and then that cabinet that I didn't show you guys earlier is where I hold my big PC and it's stored there, outlet in there, everything's connected and this uh, screen is actually a pivot mount so it comes right on my bed, pivot out in the middle. It's so amazing. Luckily with this being wireless, I can also use this in my bed too. So it's absolutely fantastic job. They did amazing building it and uh, it's everything that I wanted and needed in this van. So guys, as you can tell, obviously this van means so much to me and I'm so glad that I get to share it with you guys. Um, being that I get to use it for uh, gaming, for sleeping, for cooking, for driving around and to use it as a transportation to go to all those gyms in the country. It's uh, something that I'm so excited to be a part of my life and so excited to share with you guys. And I will say this was a professional build. This was a brand new 2021 Pro Master. So it's not necessarily, um, if you wanted to get into it, something that you would have to pay for. If you wanted to build this yourself and do everything um, kind of on a budget, I think you could get anywhere from 20 to 30,000. So it's not unattainable. If you're someone who wants to get in the gym and wants to incorporate van life, you can definitely do it um, without breaking the budget. I just want a little more luxury to it. And so I went more of that route. So. I've already hit the gym today, so I'm not gonna go do that, but it's a beautiful evening. So I'm gonna go for a little jog around the beach and uh, I'll catch you in the next one, boys. Take it easy.